The role of cash transfer programs in uh, impacting household and livelihoods is diverse and uh, that one of the things that you see the impact through is through uh, 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 helping, immediately helping households uh, in the food consumption gaps and of course also in terms of supporting education, health and nutritional aspects. And beyond that, uh, cash transfers can also provide and do also provide support to the local economy in, in terms of uh, bridging the, what is called the missing markets in the local economies. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, they, for example, support households to have cash so that they uh, rent productive uh, equipments to run their agriculture activities or to hire labor because they are by and large labor deficient and hire labor and work on their farm which could otherwise be rented out or sharecropped out to other farmers and then in, that, which, in which case they would get only half of the benefits from their land. So uh, there are a lot more other effects of cash transfers that we are finding effects through and, uh, and the mechanism is like very diverse within the village economy. So poor households often face credit constraints, which makes it impossible for them to uh, invest in productive activities. When you provide cash to those households, they're able to use that in a productive manner. They can invest in agriculture, non-agricultural activities, and other sorts of productive types of activities. With credit, they can purchase inputs, they can mix their labor with that, and then they can increase their agricultural production, which allows them to be more food secure. The cash transfer programs that we've been analyzing in Africa have, there's evidence to show that they increase um, agricultural production, they increase the investment in agriculture, they increase the spending on agriculture, and all of these combined allow them to produce more for home consumption.